So this week, we did have Nintendo report their financial results for the last fiscal quarter, which did cover the holiday period. They did pretty well, and the Switch has now passed the original PlayStation and even the Wii when it comes to lifetime unit sales. And there's a good chance that throughout this year, it will eventually past the PlayStation 4 and the Game Boy. But there was a lot of conversation and confusion all over the internet the other day when it comes to a question that was asked of Nintendo around NFTs and Metaverse and kind of the way it was uh, reported and thrown around online. It certainly caused quite a bit of confusion, but we did have the official uh, like transcription released by Nintendo. It's in Japanese, however, uh, did go ahead and get all that translated so we can try to get an idea as to what was actually said. Guys, if you enjoyed these videos, make sure that like button helps out a ton. And if you're new here to the Spawn Wave channel, make sure you subscribe down below. So this is more a follow-up video because uh, we did cover this in News Wave. And even then, it was based on... Uh, David Gibson, who was doing his best to translate and convey what Nintendo and Furukawa was saying, but of course fitting it into tweet after tweet after tweet, which doesn't always like connect well uh, when it comes to uh, reporting and the grapevine. So let, let's take a look. Just as an example, here is one page. This is Metro, where they say Nintendo won't join acquisition wars, but is interested in NFTs and. Those headlines caused uh, a lot of arguments online and frustrations, confusions. Why is Nintendo jumping into the NFT game with all the backlash and, and things going on right now? Well, that's not completely correct, really at all, as to what was said. And again, that comes down to uh, just the, the translations online and, uh, of course, just Twitter and trying to pass this stuff around. So let's take a look at the PDF that Nintendo posted up. This is a full PDF that was released on their website through their investors relations page. And you can go through it yourself. They will release an official English uh, PDF at some point. But this is the one we have available to us right now. And I went ahead and used DeepL, which is like a, a translation. It's, it's very good, actually, for what it's able to do. And you can just submit PDFs through it, and it'll go through and translate it to an okay uh, a, a format, at least to where it's readable, and you can get an idea as to what was said and what wasn't said. And after waiting a couple of minutes, this is what it spit out for us. And these are all those questions and answers. Some of them aren't that interesting. Uh, they did have some questions around like part costs and how their outlook is for the year coming up when it does come down to, of course, profit margin. That's what investors are like really interested in. Like they don't really care about the games themselves necessarily, like playing through games or any like most people showing up here probably aren't like showing up with a switch and hanging out playing the new Pokemon game while they're waiting for the meeting to start. No, they're showing up with their briefcases and their, and their suits and ties, and they're asking about how their millions of dollars are doing in Nintendo and what their plans are to use that money uh, to create more money. However, some of these questions were pretty good from that standpoint. Remember, we've had questions where they're like, can anyone who has like heavy investments in Nintendo get tickets to the new Super Nintendo world that you guys are opening? Seriously, those, those have been questions asked at these. But like... For example, this is one where they, they ask about the status of production and sales of Nintendo Switch hardware. While I believe the shipment volume for the first quarter, April to June, was high, we feel that the volume for the U.S. market was a little weak. Is this because there was a delay in logistics? Also, do you see any different trends in, in procurement of materials for the next fiscal uh, year? That's already being watched. I assume that means are you being like vigilant ab about this? And just asking about the supply conditions now around the hardware as we're seeing Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo all struggle. Those are real concerns from investors because if Nintendo cannot create Switch systems, they can't sell them. And again, it comes back uh, to the money aspect there. Fortunately for Nintendo, they already have over 100 million Switch systems out there. So if they make and market a good game like we're seeing right now with Pokemon Legends Arceus, yeah, it's still going to be able to sell like six and a half million copies in a couple of days. Now, this is the question that we had gone over when it came to like next generation system, specifically asking about the annual players, which which is very high. Uh, Nintendo reported that it was like about almost 100 million annual players 
for the Switch. So people are certainly using those systems, but the concern, of course, is, hey, it, when you guys do a clean break to the next system, do you guys have plans of how to bring those people over? And the obvious imp uh, implication there is it's going to be backwards compatible, right? Well, Furukawa did say we believe that the, the large number of customers who play games on Nintendo Switch makes it easier for people to pick up new titles when we launch them in the future. With Nintendo Switch occupancy rising to a record high toward the end of last year, we believe the platform will enter its first year uh, six of operation in a very strong position. For the future, it is important to maintain and expand the current number of nearly, say, 1,100 million. It, it's been, uh, 100 million annual play users which is also important when considering next hardware deployment i do indeed think it's gonna be backwards compatible and i think it's gonna carry over with that nintendo account which is very welcome considering you're not playing your virtual console games from your wii u on your switch right now that should be changing considering we have a subscription model around what their virtual console is now with the nintendo super nintendo genesis and the nintendo 64 games you should be able to sign in to your new nintendo switch switch 2 or whatever download the application and continue to play those older retro titles sign in and also download your full retail games but here's the big one this is the question that caused a lot of conversation and a lot of art arguing online with Nintendo that does have to do with NFTs and metaverse NFTs in particular very touchy subject especially on Twitter and we can see this uh, the question what is your approach to the metaverse and NFT you may already be working on this in Animal Crossing but I would like to ask you about the metaverse which has a lot of potential at this time I'd like to know as much as you can tell me in terms of points so Again, NFTs, I know, touchy subject on, on Twitter, all of this. The metaverse is something you're going to hear a lot right now. And the biggest thing here with this question, as it's been framed by uh, different outlets that reported it, it was like metaverse and NFT combined were asked to Nintendo. No, this person appears to mostly be curious about the metaverse because they themselves view Animal Crossing as one. And it's really funny because just the loose translation we had, I immediately thought of Animal Crossing as well because that does sort of fit the idea of a metaverse being a place you can escape to in a digital world and do a lot of things you would do in your normal life, which generally socializing with other people. That's what Animal Crossing became at a time when people were, for the most part, inside with the height of the global pandemic they escaped to Animal Crossing where they would hang out with their friends. And that's kind of the picture that's being painted with the metaverse, of course, with like its own economy and all this other stuff. At the end of the day, though, when it comes to socializing, Animal Crossing did exactly what the metaverse is supposed post to in the future. Now, Nintendo did answer the metaverse is attracting the attention of many companies around the world, and we believe that it has great potential. In addition, software such as Animal Crossing has been introduced in the media as an example of the metaverse, and in this sense, we are interested in it. On the other hand, it is not easy to define in an easy-to-understand manner what kind of surprises and fun can be provided to customers by the metaverse at this time. As a company that offers entertainment, we place the utmost importance on how to deliver fresh surprises and fun to our customers. So if we can find a way to communicate our Nintendo approach to many people in an easy to understand manner, we may be able to consider something. If we can find a way to communicate to many people in an easy to understand manner as Nintendo's approach, we may be able to consider something. So basically Nintendo's like, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's kind of a metaverse, but like, how do we make that work exactly and how do we make it fun that's the biggest thing now is there's a big push towards the metaverse nfts blockchain technology and gaming without anyone being able to explain how it's going to make gaming better more fun in nintendo's case right they want to have their nintendo approach and they want it to be easy to understand like, that's the biggest thing about nintendo everything they've done it's not this whole complicated mess Generally, I, I know voice chat, they released the whole thing around like this spider web of wires, but they try to hide more of the technical things that they accomplish and try to make it look very basic. Like Labo, I know people were kind of laughing at the idea of folding up cardboard and putting stickers down, but like genuinely, it's a very impressive thing that the engineers at Nintendo were able to accomplish using just a Joy-Con and some cardboard. There was a lot going on with that. And remember, they had to walk you through the steps of building this stuff. But I will admit, I think if 
any company could really pull off a metaverse that genuinely feels fun and interesting, I think it would be Nintendo. Now, I don't know if we'll get to that point anytime soon because I've seen what metaverse projects look like now and they look really bad. As I've said before, they remind me of PlayStation Home, but looking much, much worse. And PlayStation Home was forever ago. It was like 15 years ago or something. So I, I think we're a ways off from an ultimate metaverse, but whatever company figures it out, the idea then is they're basically running things. That's one of the reasons that Facebook made this massive move becoming meta. And well, it didn't work out for them the first time they had to report earnings as they lost quite a bit of their market cap there, but everyone's making this push. Microsoft's making the push through gaming and Nintendo, they probably could do it if they wanted to, but that's the biggest thing. Do they want to, and can they make it feel like a Nintendo approach? But you'll notice there was really nothing about NFTs there. NFT and metaverse has kind of gone hand in hand in the media, and that's because the non-fungible token, at least the technology behind it, does make sense in the metaverse in that digital objects become unique, so more representative of the physical world then, but there's a whole backstory to that as well. So for me personally, I'm kind of separating the two and looking at Metaverse as a place that people can escape to like they did with Animal Crossing. It's just a lot of these companies want to build it out to where it's more and more like the real world and more and more like an entire full-blown economy in this digital world. But let me know what you guys think about this. Just wanted to go back over that because I did talk about it in Newswave yesterday. And after this got released, I said, you know, we can take a look at exactly what Nintendo said. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.